Good morning everyone, Lone Wolf Rick here. It is a Saturday morning, about 11 a.m. And it's time for me to get my little exercise walk in here. I am on the Las Vegas Strip. Take a look around here. It's an absolutely beautiful morning here this morning. It's uh, a little bit breezy, a little bit of breeze today. 62 degrees right now. right there loading up It never ceases to amaze me, the line that's always waited to get into the M&M store. I'll give you a look inside there. The crowd that's in there. We just work for the hotel so we get out. Uh, for those of you who caught the uh, video yesterday, just like on the from Laughlin, of uh, the Don Laughlin uh, Classic uh, Car Museum. I will be uploading part two today. The second part of a two-part uh, video. And then tomorrow, I'll be uploading the video from uh, Oatman, Arizona. These people are waiting to get into Denny's here. 
Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. It's like that trip to Laughlin and the trip to Oatman. That was an absolute blast. It's like we had a really good time. A lot of fun things to see. A lot of fun things to do. That uh, auto museum was uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I am a classic car buff. And I joke with people, it's like as soon as I make my first billion dollars off of YouTube, then uh, that will be my new hobby. But it was just a fun trip. Uh, seeing everything in Laughlin. I hadn't been down there in quite a few years, actually. So that was a blast. And, uh... And then go to Oatman, which is on Historic Route 66. I had never been there. And just seeing all the shops and looking at the history that was through there was just uh, a lot of fun. And like I said, that Oatman video will be posted uh, on the channel tomorrow. I hope everybody had checked out the uh, hand pay video that I got the other day on that Timberwolf Deluxe game. If you haven't checked that out, it's like, uh, give that a look. I was on a $1.50 bet. It paid me over $1,500. out this morning walking around and so I can't emphasize what a fantastic beautiful morning it is Zach's making another appearance here and uh, we have a lot of other uh, travel videos that we have planned here uh, next uh, next weekend there's another coin show at the Orleans Hotel and Casino and uh, we will be there take a look at the dealers room and the coins it's like that they have available I'm hoping to uh, maybe find a couple of deals in there and buy, uh, buy some silver coins I have a little bit of a collection of silver uh, silver coins that I do and uh, and hopefully I'll be able to add to that a little bit uh, last month when I went it was a really fun time met some nice people met some nice dealers and uh, looking forward to the one this coming weekend Yesterday in my uh, exercise walk, I actually went down to Paradise uh, Avenue and not the Strip. Paradise is one street over, kind of on the back side of the Strip. And uh, it was kind of nice to see uh, the, uh, I'll be alert. It was kind of nice to see the uh, convention center. Which uh, definitely had some uh, an event or two that was going on, maybe a trade show or small convention or whatever, and that was really nice to see uh, some of those uh, events coming back to Las Vegas here. So I was very happy to see that. I know uh, things are going to be opening up more here in uh, 
here in Las Vegas. <laughs> As uh, Vegas strives to get back to 100% open. So. I know it's like, uh, from what I've read, it's like uh, everything here on the weekends has been really, uh, the hotels have been filled, filled up. And uh, a lot of people here on the weekends, uh, so far it's like the midweek uh, business hasn't actually come back yet. But hopefully it's like if they could get the uh, uh, conventions and trade shows starting to come back into town. Uh, that'll help the midweek business also here. And uh, as we continue to strive to get to a little bit of normalcy here, you know. So that's uh, that's the goal here. Both escalators are working, that's always a good sign. Rainforest Cafe here. Okay, they have not opened yet.
both escalators working here. Coming down in front of the Miracle Mile shops. That's right across the street from the Cosmopolitan Hotel and Casino. Not this coming week, but the week after that, I will be doing a three-day staycation uh, at the Cosmopolitan. So we'll definitely have some videos from there. That'll be on April 26th, 27th, and 28th, I believe. That'll be staying there. Looking forward to it. I always appreciate it's like uh, what the Cosmopolitan uh, gives me. As they usually give me a weekly uh, free play total. And then uh, every now and then they throw some, uh, some comp rooms. And uh, uh, for this quarter it was three free room nights. So I'm very appreciative of that. So thank you very much Cosmopolitan Hotel and Casino. So, next week, uh, we'll be out and about a couple of days doing some videos. So stay tuned for those. And we'll still be uploading videos, it's like from our trip to Laughlin. So, uh, we did one of the, a walk around exploring uh, Harris in, uh, in Laughlin, which is the largest hotel there. And, uh, and we also took the river taxi uh, down the length of the river uh, from Don Lofton's Riverside to the uh, Harris Hotel. So the, the river runs the backside of the Laughlin Strip. And we'll be sharing that video with you also. And we also took a little walk around the uh, uh, mall in Laughlin. I think it's called the, well, the Laughlin Outlet Mall. And uh, we did a video in there. And while that video, or while that mall's not exactly a dead mall, I would say it's probably about 50% full. And uh, there was only uh, one, uh, one food outlet that was open in there. So, which was kind of sad. So, Hopefully it's like business starts coming back to Laughlin. It looked like some of the uh, uh, new shops, or shops at the mall actually were brand new. As they just had like banners up basically to... Uh, Navigating these stairs here. Yeah, but basically they just had banners up uh, advertising the storefronts. They hadn't had their, like, their permanent signing up yet. So hopefully that's a good sign with uh, uh, stores fronts starting to come back to that mall. So we take a look over there at the Bellagio Hotel. There goes that big bus again. Bellagio right there. Got the Cosmopolitan right next to it and then the Aria right down from that. And then down the other way is Caesars Palace and uh, the Mirage on the other side of the street there.
escalators going up to the uh, Bellagio. Sometime in the next few weeks, it's like we're going to do a, uh, some videos from the Bellagio. Uh, do the conservatory and take a look at the, all the flowers that are in there right now. All right, well, I think it's like uh, that's going to do it for today's little walk. I appreciate everybody joining me today. This is Lone Wolf Rick. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate uh, the time you give us. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We greatly appreciate that. Uh, keeps you in a loop of everything that's going on. And it helps us out also. Our channel is over 1,000 subscribers now. So we'd love to have you join our uh, YouTube family. All right. So everybody take care of yourselves, okay? Stay healthy. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Yep,